Ladies and gentlemen, people of the Carolinas, are you ready for strong tropical storm slash weak asterisk hurricane is AS to make landfall? Because it's about to happen. And the next few hours, looks like it's headed towards Myrtle Beach, Charleston, Georgetown. So be prepared because this thing is going to pack a punch. It's starting to wrap up its eye, so it actually could make landfall at hurricane strength. Either way, the difference between the two, storm, strong tropical storm and weak hurricane, are going to be minimal. So please be ready. And after taking you guys all the way through the very tippy start of Hurricane Hannah, Hurricane Douglas, and now is this, and I still can't pronounce it correctly, and I'm not going to because I'm stubborn in that regard. Um... My brain has turned to mush, plus the full moon energy is intense. So uh, I thought I would warn you ahead of time. And I want you to know, y'all are utterly amazing and fantastic, so I don't want to lose anybody to this storm. We lost three people to Hurricane Hannah. I don't want to lose anyone to this one, but this one is definitely going to bring some flooding and problems because the wind gusts are ticking up and we have one of the largest flash flood areas I've ever seen in the Northeast. And there are definitely going to be hurricane issues associated with this. And of course, straight line winds, high waves, storm surge, and such. But you can see the greener areas. That will be where the storm will push in with the super heavy rain. And then you've got a storm behind it that will have tornadic features as well. And it will go up through New York and surrounding areas. We are most deaf going to be having flooding issues, so I hope you have been sandbagging it. I know some people have. Um, and flooding is no fun. There's going to be a lot of power outages. It's going to be quite a quite a week, man, for you guys in the Northeast. It's starting to get that look to it. And yes, I would guess it is intensifying. And it does have a chance of being a hurricane when it makes landfall. Regardless of its final uh, peak intensity, it's still going to bring some pretty stiff, problematic issues, I would guess. So please put your seats back in the upright position. Buckle your seat belts. We are in the final approach. All right. Mike Barletta confirming that the eye has cleared and closed off, and he can't wait to see how much it is intensified. And it's probably got, you know, an hour or two or three before it makes landfall. Hopefully Space River News. Well, I mean, she has made her hurricane preparations ready, and hopefully everyone else in the area is ready to go, because this is going to be fun, asterisk, and I say fun, tongue-in-cheek. But when isn't your tongue in your cheek, you know? And if there are crazy people who just want to hang out on the beach and meet the hurricane head-on with just a bikini, I can't stop them. And Jesse's letting us know there's some pretty sweet rain shaft action happening in the Ontarios, which is the Canada's. But this video is mainly focused on EAAs. All right. MJ Ventris, the Euro brings King, wait, Tropical Storm is EAS across the New York City. Oh, the New York City. I like putting the in front of things that don't need it. The Long Island, New York, into southern the New England, Tuesday. Could see some gusty conditions. And on the other side of the continental lower 48, we are dealing with vertical plumes from fires. Asterisk. E weather letting us know that the max wind gust modeling continues to increase. This could be quite robust to say the least. Expect a lot of power outages tomorrow. And some of these areas are between the 40s to the 80s. So, John Homenuck, who gives a funk, says, Hey, y'all, be ready for a sting jet. Because the downdraft winds can mix down and cause significant gusts. And sting jet, see that? Sting jet. Okay, sting jet. And there will be a lot of active weather surrounding is e e s uh, associated with the trough and an old frontal boundary. And yeah, it's bringing some lightning with it as well. But this storm is starting to get a, a decent size and a decent shape, you know. And the best weatherman on the planet, Cranky Weather Guys, letting you guys know the tornado watch is to be issued shortly in the circled area, I would believe. 
Sidebar, I've noticed an uptick of people calling me names on the internets. If you need to do that, that's fine. I can handle it. I've been called names before. Yeah, I think I've done a pretty good job of covering the storm and as planetary defense commander overall. So, you know, I guess it just comes with the turf. Hey, but a lot of the same knuckleheads are, I guess, just not happy with their own lives. Okay, cranky weather guy showing us the loop de loop. Um, wobbly eye due to elongated structure in the mid levels now. Landfall around midnight. Oh, I guess it's got a couple hours to go then. So, strengthening will probably continue and we will probably see this as definitely a hurricane. Disney releases a statement after a Splash Mountain boat sank with guests aboard in the Magic Kingdom. Oh, not all magic is good, man. You know, just saying. Man, that same apple fire is smoking just like a dragon. You know what I'm saying? It's burned quite a few acres and it's only 5% contained. And man, look at that vertical smoke plume. How are you going to fight me with the block of cheese? It's extra sharp. James Edelweit. He had a chance to make a cheese pun, but he blew it. Blue cheese is good. Hey, look at that face. Don't let its cute Barney demeanor fool you. Or dinosaur demeanor. This thing could be dangerous, bro. It's definitely going to bring a whole lot of flooding up the East Coast. So I'll be giving you guys updates along the way because it's what I do. And sometimes in between, I get to tell jo good jokes. So it's definitely going to be that kind of wind tonight. It's brought to us by Ed Piotrowski. Simply a reminder to make sure you have all your loose items outdoors tied down or brought inside. So stay safe, everyone. It is a five on the trash can window meter. Okay? And I'll be back with updates, hopefully. Yay. And this is the last day of my monthly fundraiser. So if you would like to contribute, be sure and please take care of your family, your friends, and your pets first. But if you got some left over and would like to reward me for the Herculean task effort I've done all year or all last month or that I will do in August, I would appreciate it. I work really hard. Technically, I'm obsessive about this stuff. I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, $809 left to raise in less than 24 hours, and a whole bunch of people to say thank you to, including Asteroid Fight Club, Prayer Warriors, the Atmospheric Defense Team, who's done a great job with this storm, by the way. It definitely would have been bigger if we didn't have a lot of people playing defense. And very thank you to Teresa, Cynthia, Summer, Scott, Matthew, Glenda, Max, Arnica, Stephanie, Light Soul, Marlita, Lisa, Daryl, Brian, KJ, Dan, Bill from the Atmospheric Defense Team, JL, Fairytale Inc., Jason, Cynthia, Andrew, Janine, Ellie, Rachel, Athena, Marut, Robert, Caleb, Richard, Courtney, Summer, Angel, Demian, Angelique, James, Mike, Andy, Robert, Bennett, Matthew, Jess, Angel, Wagon Breath, and Dan. <clears throat> and I think, I guess, the people who, who hate my guts don't appreciate the fact that I got a lot of cool people who enjoy the work I do. And I am super duper absolutely grateful for all of y'all. Um, I couldn't have got this far as Planetary Defense Commander without y'all. Yeah, there's still going to be a whole lot of super rough patches in 2020. And I think August could be the most brutal month of all. We'll see though, man. Just hang in there because remember, if you survive 2020, you are my hero. So please be my hero. And thank you to everybody out there staying cool, keeping it cool, and adding humor into anything when you guys can. I'll talk to y'all in the near future. Peace out. And please stay safe. This thing is definitely going to pack a punch in my opinion. Peace out. God bless everyone. May the force be with you always. And let us live long and prosper together.